up for sale as a 93 Ford Ranger XLT. The hood's propped. I'm going to pop the hood here and show you what the engine looks like. It's dusty, but it, uh, hopefully you can see this. It's dirty, but it's very, you know, for very clean. Uh, as far as no leaks, I mean. So, um, let's pop that down. Pardon the video. Got a, uh, it's a 93. It's got 179,000 miles on it. <clears throat> it's got a lot of miles, uh, mainly because I drive 37 miles one way to work. <clears throat> it, it's a heck of a running truck. I'm selling it for $1,500. I'm pretty firm on the price. I went through two years ago and did uh, lower ball joints. Uh, changed the wheel bearings, brakes, tires. Uh, out about a year ago. So front tires I may have to look at. They may need brakes, but they should be pretty good. They stop on a dime. Here's the other side. Pretty clean old truck. See a little brake dust on the wheels, but it's, you know, I use cheap brakes. I hate to say it. Anywho, uh, interior. It's a little, you know, it's dirty. You know, it needs to be cleaned. Uh, there again, like I said, I drove it to work every day. It's a five speed transmission stick, not an automatic. I repeat. I get a lot of phone calls before I did this video. People apparently don't know what a manual transmission is. A manual transmission is a stick transmission. You shift the gears manually. So if you're watching this video and you're looking for an automatic, you don't need to look any further. <clears throat> as far as oil changes, I keep the oil changes up on it, keep the maintenance up on the truck. Uh, I'll show you. It's a cold start. <sighs> But you, uh, as you can see, the temperature gauge is completely, i move my seat back. Temperature gauge is completely down. I just want to show you how easy this starts. And the EC does blow cold. Good oil pressure. Showing 179,672. That may change a little bit. As you know, I do tend to drive this truck. It's an awesome truck. The only thing that's wrong with this truck, I have a GPS that I use because the speedometer went out. If you want to fix the speedometer, take it to a dealer. They'll fix it. Probably cost you around hundred dollars by the time they add their bull crap labor in. I got a GPS, and that's what I do. Um, clutch is pretty responsive. It drives itself. I mean, it just, it's an easy vehicle. You got somebody to learn, then well, you know, before you take this thing out and drive it, I'm gonna make sure you know how to drive a stick or you're not driving it. But anywho, um, I'm asking 1500 on the truck. I don't think it's too much. I see a lot of vehicles out there for that much that are in way worse condition. So if you're interested, give me a call. And I might even, so when there's a uh, white camper shell right over there and that goes with it so thank you